Hi everybody, welcome and thank you so much for joining me for today's Pilates. We are doing abs today, so we'll do some supine, we'll do some seated, we'll do some prone, back, all of the places, all of the positions, all of the abs. So we will start lying down, bring yourself down onto your back. And I want you to just take in a few breaths to allow yourself to connect with your core. So on your inhale, ribs expand. Exhale, breathe out. Use your deep abdominals to pull your ribs together. Pull your belly in and lift your pelvic floor. Inhale, expand. Exhale, do that again. So you engage your deep abdominals, feeling your rib halves knit towards the middle. Belly pull away from your pants and pelvic floor lift. We'll do it one more time. Inhaling and then exhale, collect and connect. I want you to continue to use that connection as we now do some ab work. So take your hands up behind your head. On your exhale, coming into your curl up, drawing your belly in, ribs together. Inhale, lower down. So I'm gonna do this in a progression today. That means that if there's a level that we get to that doesn't feel good for you or work for you in your body, then you can stay or return to the previous level. This allows you to really be mindful and present within your body and connect with your breath. I want you to exhale to curl up and then pause at the top and then lower down. So starting to add a little bit of endurance now. Exhale, lift, core connects. Inhale, lower. We'll do that three more times. Building up, drawing in. And last time, holding at the top. And inhaling down. Very good. Leave your head down, mat. Take your hands up to the ceiling. On your exhale, lift one leg up, second leg up into tabletop. And then draw, draw your elbows down towards your ribs and then press them back up. Then I want you to alternate. So you draw one down, send it back up. Second one down, send it back up. This is the action you're going to be doing and we'll integrate it in with your opposite leg. It goes down, toe tap and return, other side, toe tap, and return. So a bit of a variation on dead bug, thinking about that shoulder girdle alignment and neutral pelvis, and then core connecting. So you're really feeling this drawing in action of your abdominals. We'll do one more on either side. Then I want you to hug your knees into your chest. Exhale, curling up like you're trying to bring your forehead to your knees. And then inhale, lower down. Now I'm happy for you to flex your spine as much as you would like in this one. You're looking for that drawing in deepening of your abdominals though. So you're really feeling your abs working to flex your spine. Very good, last one here. Then lowering down, lengthen one leg out along the mat. Take your hands up back behind your head. On your exhale, now you curl up towards the bent knee and reach with your lengthened leg. Inhale, lower. Flexing, rotating, and returning. Still that same drawing in action. But now you're adding that bit of rotation, getting a bit of oblique abdominal engagement. Again, I'm gonna progress here. Stay at the level you're at if you wish. This time you come up. Arm lengthens, reach, return, and lower. So I'm lengthening the arm, the same one up the length of the straight leg, coming just to the side of my bent knee deepening that work, driving it forward to rotate. Two more here, you're doing a great job. Last one. 
Then when you're down on the mat, lift your bent knee now up into the air. And then resume your curl ups. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, lower. Still focusing on the rotation. So you're getting that neutral pelvis still. Ribs together. Try to relax your neck and your shoulders. Last four. Three. Two. Last one. Lowering yourself down. Hug that knee into your chest. Reaching the opposite straight leg. And then swapping them over. You can bring them both in, just have a little pause, and then as you're ready, set your length of leg onto the mat, bent knee into the air, hands up behind your head. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, return. So now obviously rotating to the other side, but still everything applies. And remember when you do your rotation, you're aiming for your armpit, the string goes towards your thigh, as opposed to really turning your neck and trying to get your elbow there. We'll deepen it a little bit in your abdominals as well. Okay, excellent job. We'll add the arm on now if you wish. Lengthen and reach, return and lower. Exhale, rotate, reach, return and lower. Three more here. The last one. Then this time when you're down, lift that leg up into tabletop and resume your curl ups. And you may notice one side feels better, worse, harder, easier than the other. Totally normal. Just breathe through it and be within your body. We're going to do three more here. Last two. Last one. Leave yourself down on the mat. Take that knee, hug it into your chest, lengthening out your other leg. And then as you're ready, lengthen both legs out onto the mat. Reach your arms up overhead and coming through your roll up. Chin towards your chest, drawing in, reaching forward, and then tuck your tab on under. Flex your spine, draw in, grounding, coming back down. We'll do that two more times. Allow the depth to come through to help you come up. Follow through, and then lower it. At the end of your third one, we'll remain up in the seated position. Once you are there, bend your knees. Leave your arms out, but you're going to form a rounded shape. Sitting right up on your sits bones to start, and then exhale, rotate, back to the center, rotate, other side. So similar idea to what we were just doing. Look for the oblique engagement on the side, still drawing in, core connects, and you're coming back with control. So I recommend you do that on an exhale, core connects for your exhale to allow you to have that control coming back. One more on either side. Then you can take your arms behind you, lengthen out your legs, coming through your external rotation. So really try to open your collarbones. Just do that a couple times. And then we're gonna come up into plank or front plank. So arms here. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. We're going to do three times coming up. Keep breathing. 
Feel the awareness and the connection. This time when you're up, you're gonna stay up at the top. Inhale here, then exhale, like lift, lower, lift, lower. Really relying there on your abdominals to help with the stability, to help with the, with the connection. Last one here, very good, lowering down. And then spine, stretch, bring your arms around. Exhale, flex and reset two more times very good then bring yourself all the way around in the, to face in the other direction palms underneath your shoulders knees underneath your hips and then on your exhale step back into your plank pause there find your strong plank position and then bring your knees back underneath of you We'll do that two more times, and then you can continue doing it like that, or you can progress to the next level. Really making sure you're pausing there at that back chain, or in the back part, to get the back chain, and have your core connected. From here now, you're going to transition over, arm comes out, same thing other side, transition over, arm comes out. Rotation again, keep breathing. Really getting that connection from your center. I know I'd say it a lot, but you really need that for this work. Now pause in the middle this time. Draw your knee to your elbow, send it back. Breathing, remember you're broadening your collarbones and shoulders, soft bending your elbows. Use this for your strength. One more either side. Then this time, you lift your knee and you rotate in that direction. Bring it back, other side. Exhale, this is all about the rotation. Again, think about that core. One more either side, you're doing a great job. Yes, very good, drop your knees down. Press back into your child's pose. Let yourself open up. Have a breath. And then coming up, we'll finish off with some Z-sit and lateral flexion. So sit yourself up tall into your Z-sit position, down onto your forearm, and then lengthen that out, open up that side with a lot of, bit, uh, a lot of rotation. So it should feel nice to open up your ribs there, up and over, other direction. And then coming down and swapping your legs over. Sitting up tall on your six bones as much as you can and then down onto your forearm and reach across. And then coming back, palm down, same thing, reaching across, lengthening to the side. And then parking you in the middle. Taking a really nice deep breath, inhaling, exhaling. I want you to do that a few times and really feel the energy come in that you have created. And while you're there doing that, acknowledge that you have shown up to do the hard work of your abs and working with your body and moving, and you've done a great job of that. Thank you so much for being here with me. See you again soon.